Please join me for our entrance verse, found on page three. To you I lift up my soul, oh my God. In you I have trusted. Let me not be put to shame, nor let my enemies exalt over me. And let none who hope in you be put to shame. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. 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 Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant your faith that we pray, Almighty God, the resolve to run forth to meet your Christ with righteous deeds in his coming, so that, gathered at his right hand, we may be worthy to possess the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <laughs> A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. This is what Isaiah, son of Amoz, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. In days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest mountain and raised above the hills. All nations shall stream toward it. Many people shall come and say, Come, let us climb the Lord's mountain to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may instruct us in his ways and we may walk in his paths. For from Zion shall go forth instruction, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations, and impose terms on many peoples. They shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. One nation shall not rise the one nation shall not raise the sword against another, nor shall they train for war again. O house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks. Responsorial, let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoice because they said to me, We will go up to the house of the Lord. And now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem, built as a city with compact unity, to it the tribes go up. The tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoice According to the decree for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. In it are set up judge, judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Let us go rejoice Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May those who love you prosper. May peace be within your walls. Prosperity in your buildings. Let us Because of my brothers and friends, I will say, Peace be within you. Because of the house of the Lord, our God, I will pray for your good. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, you know the time. It is the hour now for you to awake from sleep. For our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. The night is advanced, the day is at hand. Let us then throw off the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us conduct ourselves properly as in the day, not in orgies or drunkenness, not in promiscuity and lust, not in rivalry and jealousy. But put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provisions for the desires of the flesh. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Show us, Lord, your love and grant us your salvation. Alleluia, alleluia. <coughs> Let 
The Lord be with you. And with A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory Jesus said to his disciples, As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. In those days before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage up to the day that Noah entered the ark. They did not know until the flood came and carried them all away. So it will be also at the coming of the Son of Man. Two men will be out in the field. One will be taken and one will be left. Two women will be grinding at the mill. One will be taken and one will be left. Therefore, stay awake, for you do not know on which day your Lord will come. Be sure of this. If the master of the house had known the hour of the night when the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and not let his house be broken into. So too, you also must be prepared, for at an hour you do not expect, the Son of Man will come. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. A uh, quick announcement before I begin the reflection this morning. In today's busy world, there's an ever-growing number of businesses offering gift cards. These have become very easy to give to a friend or a loved one <coughs> as a gift, allowing them the freedom to choose what they want, and you become the favorite relative. The St. Thomas Legacy Fund has partnered with the Script Program, providing you the opportunity to help our parish raise funds for the building of our new church. You will be purchasing the same gift card you were intending to purchase somewhere else, and Script donates a percentage of the purchase amount back to our parish. There are no hidden fees, making it possible to give a Christmas gift to a family member and to St. Thomas as you go about your normal Christmas shopping routine. Ms. Kim Foster, our resident expert on script, will be in the office on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of each week, and she can answer all your questions concerning this great program. She can aid you in setting up an app on your smartphone to purchase or add to your script cards. She also has on hand some cards from various retail outlets for your immediate purchase. So take a few minutes this week or next week to speak with her regarding the script program. Again, it is a convenient way to help out St. Thomas and to ease your task of Christmas shopping. In our world today, many questions beg our attention. Top topics like economy, racial and gender equality, and of course, COVID. The world is in a state of turmoil, leading us to wonder moment by moment what world leaders in other countries, such as Ukraine, Russia, China, North Korea, are going to pull next. We even ponder what road our own leaders, church and state, are going to lead us down. Yet all of these questions pale in the face of the one question that Pilate asked to the mob that day gathered in the Praetorium. The question from Matthew's Gospel that will be at the top of your handout, then what should I do with Jesus, who is called the Messiah? This question is timeless. One of the greatest questions that has been asked in 2,000 years. Through all time, it has called for more of man's attention than any other. Herod, shortly after Jesus' birth, wanted to answer by putting him to death. Simeon, in Luke's gospel, a righteous and devout man, wanted only to see Jesus to fulfill all of the dreams of, his, of the long-promised Messiah. Mary and Joseph, when he was 12 years old, a day's journey from Jerusalem, turned back and searched for three days worried he was lost or injured or worse. Nicodemus, the Pharisee, came by night to question who this man Jesus was and where he had come from, stating, we know that you are a teacher come from God. And Pilate, following this morning's question, tried to dismiss this man called Jesus. He tried to play it safe. I wash my hands of the blood of this man. I know many of you may be pondering what exactly this story of Pilate's question and Easter question has to do with our celebration as we begin Advent 2022. My answer to you is simple. 
Here today, on this first Sunday of Advent, we must again ask ourselves this ages, ageless question, what should I do with Jesus? Each year, as we begin this season of Advent, our thoughts, our prayers, our focus is directed at preparation for the coming of the Christ child at Christmas. Equally, we must also remember our preparation to meet this man Jesus at our own passing from this life or upon his triumphant second coming. Advent is a time of hope. It is a time of joy. Sacred Scripture outlines an answer to this question for our time of preparation. I offer you four things. Remember this simple acronym, B-A-A-T. B. We must first believe. Believe in His incarnation, God in the flesh. A. We must accept. Accept that He is the only way the one truth, and the life everlasting. A, we must allow him to become the Lord and master of our lives. And T, we must come to trust, trust that everything he did, he did out of love for each of us. We cannot allow ourselves to take refuge in neutrality, as Pilate did, doing only the bare minimum outlined by the precepts of the church. Our spiritual lives cannot grow, cannot thrive, like the seed that fell on rocky ground in another parable, unless we can answer this question. As we begin our preparation for Christ in this new season of Advent, and then look to Easter as it approaches, each and every day, let us take time to answer this timeless question. What should I do with Jesus, who is called Messiah? When we have answered this question in our heart, we can and will become living witnesses to a world searching, a world in need of this man called Emmanuel, God with us, Jesus. Mother Mary, in your wisdom, pray for us. Let us stand for our profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and not made, consubstantial with the Father, the dream of all things remain. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified on the conscious Bible. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess the baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Coming together as one family in faith, we offer to God our prayers and our needs. That Christ may visit his holy church and keep watch over her always. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord pray. That under the protection of Christ, our times may be peaceful. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord pray. That Christ may banish disease, drive out hunger, and ward off every affliction. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that as witnesses to Christ's love, before all we may abide in the truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all those in our community, both here present and those watching on video, who are suffering, whether from physical, emotional, or mental illnesses, that they may be comforted by the resurrected Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord 
for all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions, spoken and unspoken, joined through the intercession of St. Thomas the Apostle, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. And for the repose of the soul of Mr. Luis Marez, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Amen. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude asking Mary's intercession as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let you, Lord God, of all creation, for your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For to the earth and work of human hands have become for us the first life. Bless be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the wine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Bless, Bless be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the prayers of all your sins, for our hope and the of all the Holy Spirit. Accept and pray, Lord, these offerings we may gather from among your gifts to us, and may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ. Our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, the Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh and so fulfilled the design and form of his oath, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing to him of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth, all of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit of calm and life to do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And at the time he was betrayed, he took willingly into his passion, he took bread and it, giving thanks, and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> the mystery of faith. We, we proclaim your death, Lord, and profess, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that after partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the life of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and with blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs with your eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, and mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> After the sacred command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. And we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all stress. To await the blessed open the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Please join me for our communion verse found on page 88 if you miss the list. The Lord will bestow his bounty, and our earth shall yield its increase.
Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, be fair, participating, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what is yours. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks Thanks God. God. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy Holy Michael, Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and spirit of the devil. May God rebuke you when you humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine mercy of God, defend us from the snares of the devil. Amen. 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 By the divine power, thrust into hell, Satan and all the other evil spirits who wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus and the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the fair earthly. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most great spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and his 